up everybody this is Tony with OMG Droid and I'm back to give you a look at Apex Launcher and its newly acquired Pro Features it just came out yesterday I'm gonna start off by just showing you some of the cool stuff you can do here on the home screen you got your dock down there at the bottom you can put whatever you want in there I like to put folders down there I use folders as you can see. Um, I've got them set up for like communication. I got some games over there. And I got my Google Apps in one folder. And it's really easy to add new stuff if I like to. I'm going to go ahead and throw Google Plus down in my communication folder. And there it is. then we've got all sorts of stuff here in the app drawer those transitions come as a part of Apex Pro we've got a whole ton of those we'll go in and dig in through some of the home screen settings where you can change the number of home screens which screen will be your default you change your automatic grid size, your portrait grid, your landscape grid, horizontal margin, vertical margin. You got preview animation. You change that to fly in, fade in, scale in, out. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. We got uh, infinite scrolling, elastic scrolling. And we got minimum scrolling time, transition effects. We'll go ahead and throw some of those on there, let you see how they look. And we've got a show persistent search bar. If you'd like your search bar to always show up on your home screen, that option will help you do it. You can hide your notification bar. You can hide the shadows on the top and bottom of the screen. And you can hide your icon labels. And in here in your drawer settings, we've got hide your apps up top you can choose which apps you don't want to show up in your drawer your drawer app sorting you can sort them by title install date description install date ASC uh, mostly used you got different drawer animations fade in scale in fly in basically and different transitions for while you're inside of the drawer We'll put another one on for you. Now this is uh, one of the features here, some of the features from the Pro. These multiple configurable drawer tabs. You can change it to launch specified app. I haven't quite figured out what that does yet but the settings there if you want to do some digging and let's see you can join drawer tab, show primary apps tab, show secondary apps tab, show your widgets tab. It's pretty nice stuff. Indicators, show dry, drawer indicator, drawer indicator position, fade drawer indicator, hide app labels, hide widget labels, lots more customization. Now if you have a dock, 
You might want to do some digging around in there and check out those settings. I don't, so I'm going to skip it. And here you can mess around with your folder settings, change them to look like a fan, grid, iOS, or stack. Folder background. You can hide the folder name if you like. Hide the icon labels inside of folders. And dig around here in your behavior settings. I'm going to set mine to always rotate. So I like it to spin for me when I want it to. My home key action, I want it to set to show previews, but you could do a ton of different things. You can check out uh, show app drawer, go to default screen, show notifications, toggle status bar, show Apex menu, show Apex settings, lock desktop, launch specific app, launch shortcut. Lots more good stuff. Um, the the gestures here, some of these are new in the pro version. Um, we have dock swipe gestures and two finger gestures. Those are in the pro version, but these ones here do come stock. So you can set it to, when you pinch, perhaps you want it to, I don't know, uh, toggle the status bar. So we'll go back out here. And that pinch took the status bar away and brings it right back. That's really cool. And you can change that to a ton of different stuff. Um, let's see. Wrong button there. You can have it do uh, just about anything you want with the different swipes. Two finger swipes. There they are. This is one that I really like. Um, if you double tap the menu, I have it set to do my app drawer. Maybe not. It's set, but it's not showing for some reason. There we go. Mm, that's pretty nice. Now here we are in the advanced settings. I'll just give you a quick rundown of this before we wrap things up here. We got customized menu. You can now add your missed call count your unread SMS count and your unread Gmail count and you can resize widgets or you can make widgets overlap if you want to and you can even put widgets in the dock that's one of the pro features uh, pretty much the overlapping widgets and the widgets in dock come with the pro version I really like that I really really like it check it out there's my battery widget normally up there Not anymore. I want to put another widget down there. Nah, that that won't be too big. It only takes one by one widgets. So I don't believe I have many on there. We'll just see if this one will work. And there it is. You can't really see that one. It cuts it off a little bit, but it's there. So there you have it, folks. Apex Launcher. Go try it out. And once you fall in love with it, you'll be more than ready to spend the $3.99 it takes to get the extra features from Apex Launcher Pro. Um, I'll throw a link to both of them in the description there at the bottom. Thanks for stopping in and checking this out.